First time countdown's number two story tonight's worst person in the world. The bronze is Steven Spruill, who has written a piece for the rapidly conservative National Review in which he tells a story about how, when MSNBC moved here to 30 Rock, I decided to interfere with these old offices with so much history. Mr. Spruill claims, I quote, didn't like his door. It had a window. He wanted a solid one. He called the building manager. They told him, look, it's an old building. We're not changing the doors. So he goes on. I allegedly then say, I want a new door or I'm not going on the air tonight. And so they went and got him a new door. It's a fascinating story. Sadly, not a true one. I did indeed call about the door on my office because the beautiful, historic, old wooden door that was there had already been removed and replaced with the new one that was almost all glass. I called and asked for blinds for the door window. No threats, no, I'm not going in the air. Nothing. And no call was ever made to me or to MSNBC by Stephen Spruill or his fellow faux journalists at the National Review because, of course, if you never ask for a comment of the lies you intend to print, you never run the risk of hearing a denial that will neuter your slander. Our runner-up tonight, speaking of slanders, author Jerome Corsi, the Obama libeler. He has insisted that the Obama campaign has, quote, failed to prove a single falsehood contained in the pages of the book. This as he released a list of 11 corrections for the second edition of falsehoods he included in the first edition. Many of them, you guessed it, provided and proved by the Obama campaign. But our winner, Sean Hannity, whose magic consists of his fantastically poor short-term memory. Obama Hannity squeaked, says Fox News and Republican commentators suggest that, in other words, that he is a Muslim. No one has ever suggested that. Now, we're going to go through this record here today because this is an outright falsehood on his part. Okay, let's do that. Let's see. January 19, 2007, those Fox Morning geniuses, led by Steve Ducey, insisted that Obama was raised by his Muslim father as a Muslim and was educated in a madrasa. The same day, Fox TV host John Gibson, I'm sorry, former Fox TV host John Gibson, he got fired, said that Hillary Clinton's team had revealed, quote, that Obama was educated in a Muslim madrasa. February 27, 2008, Fox's ex-beauty pageant contestant Gretchen Carlson said the connotation is that Barack Obama is a Muslim, potentially. June 16, 2008, Fox's infallible Brit Hume noted the reference at the Obama website that he's never been a Muslim, but added, butchering a story out of the Wash out of the Jerusalem Post, that, quote, Obama's half-brother is not so sure. And, of course, on June 6th of this year, Fox's E.D. Hill asked if the fist bump between Barack and Michelle Obama might have been, quote, a terrorist fist jab. But no, Sean Hannity says nobody on Fox News has ever suggested Obama was a Muslim. How does he say this with a straight face? To modify the old joke, no brain, no shame. Sean Hannity, today's worst person in the world.